in a major escalation between Israel and Palestine. Last night, Israeli jets struck Gaza in retaliation for two rockets fired by Palestinian militants. This has escalated tensions in the region that was already compounded by killing of 10 Palestinians by the hand of Israeli forces. The killing of 10 Palestinians happened during the raid in Jenin, which Palestinians have described as a massacre. That raid left at least 20 others wounded with live ammunition. This marks one of the bloodiest conflict in the region that has been intensifying since the start of the last year, and the city of Jenin and Nablus has become the flashpoint and the epicenter of the recent conflict. In this video, we decode why have Israeli raids become more prominent in these two cities and the reasons behind sudden increase in activities of the Israeli forces against Palestine. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Over India. Israeli military raids and killings have become common in the cities of Jenin and Nablus over past year in the West Bank area. These raids are part of a campaign that Israel calls Break the Wave. Between mid-March and early May last year, 19 people were killed in a series of terror attacks in Israel, prompting the IDF to launch Operation Break the Wave. Two of the men who carried out attacks were from Jenin city. The city of Jenin has seen the emergence of Jenin brigades that have been carrying out covert attacks on Israel. This group is mainly supported by the PIJ, that is Palestinian Islamic Jihad. In May last year, the birth of an armed resistance group called the Nablus Brigade was also announced. These two groups often launch attacks against the Israeli forces from these two cities. The operation Break the Wave, according to IDF, was aimed at crushing an increasingly organized Palestinian armed resistance in Jenin and Nablus, which emerged after an outburst of Palestinian resistance in May of 2021. It began in occupied East Jerusalem's Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood and culminated in Israel's war with armed groups in Gaza for 11 days that caused widespread destruction and havoc. More than 170 Palestinians, including at least 30 children, were killed across the occupied West Bank and East Jerusalem last year. In January this year alone, at least 29 Palestinians, including 5 children, have been killed so far. As per the UN data, 2022 was the deadliest year for Palestinians since 2006, but 2023 is already on course to eclipse that, and there is now the potential for a full-scale uprising among Palestinians. The threat is real, especially in the wake of Israel's new far-right government, which came into power at the end of December. In fact, the increased raids and killings of Palestinians were a policy under the previous government of centrist Prime Minister Yair Lapid. Israeli settler attacks Palestinians, particularly in Nablus, sharply increased during this period with the military accused of doing little to stop the attack and settlers calling for a heavier Israeli military crackdown on the Northern West Bank. More than 9,000 Palestinians have been injured by Israeli forces in the West Bank since the start of the 2022, according to the United Nations. And its projections that 2023 is already on its way to become even more bloodiest might come true if this spate of violence and killings don't stop. Whether this happens or not, nobody knows. But one thing is certain. Between all these recurring madness and confrontations, common Palestinians have to face the heat and bear the consequence of attacks, blockades and sanctions. These were the reasons why the Israeli raids have become more frequent in the cities of Jenin and Nablus. We hope you would like this new video. Thank you for watching.